Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Wayne Goss Weightless Fail Blush Palette. So if you want to hear my thoughts on these, I also do some cheek swatches as well. Then just keep watching. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I fancy myself to be a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing about anything and everything that is on the makeup market, and I love sharing my thoughts with it about you guys. And one of the most hyped up releases in my little makeup community was the Wayne Goss Weightless Veil Blush Palette. By the way, my sleeves are super duper poofy. I hope this does not bother you. This is from the, the new Laura Lee Boutique, and I thought it would be super cute in videos. And I think it is super cute. Anyways, let's get back to the blushes. I'm not currently wearing them right now. I'm gonna do a demo of one of them, but I've already tried them on. I've already swatched them for you guys. So I already have my thoughts. So let's go over the main details of these guys. So they are $45. They are all currently still in stock and available on beautylish.com. I, of course, will put my affiliate links down below if you are interested in shopping them. If not, just type it into the search bar. Doesn't matter to me. But Wayne Goss came out with four different shades of this blush and highlighter duo and the description on Beautylish says unlock Wayne's secret for a healthy youthful flush with this customizable cheek palette so some things on the back you get 19 grams of product which is a lot of product that's why the product itself is $45 I was hoping this product would be around like 35 or something but 19 grams of product is a lot I think kind of the aspect behind his brand it is you get a lot of product, which if you're a makeup hoarder like me, I prefer to pay less for less product because I never finish up a product, but then I have to remember that normal people aren't like me. And I said this last video, but if you're watching my videos, you're probably not normal. I know as a collective group, us makeup hoarders like smaller amounts product for smaller price, but normal people, you are getting a nice amount of product in here, especially if you find your everyday kind of color that you want to use every day. Let's see, this has a nine month shelf life, which I think is very interesting because for a powder product, normally the shelf life is 12 to 24 months. So make sure you get a color that you really like. And you know, you get a lot of product for it to be a shorter shelf life but that's just me being picky as always <laughs> and the last thing this is made in Canada so the packaging of this is just like the eyeshadow palette it is also the same exact packaging basically same size everything very simple with the packaging just sleek practical you know I mean you guys know I like glitter and shiny rainbow whatever whatever but no there's something nice and sleek about this it is a clasp closure and then you open it up you do get a nice size mirror and then every product is going to have one matte blush and then one highlighter I think that Coral Rose is the one I want to go for today. This is the one on my hand. Like I said, I already did my face swatches, so I know how these look on my face. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the highlight. I'm using a Kaleidos S2 brush, and I'm going to blend this in my highlight area, and then whatever's left, I'm going to kind of blend it down. I would highly suggest that you take a look at Wayne's original video where he explains his vision behind the product, and he gives some fabulous tips. One of the most useful tips that is so simple that I can't believe I never thought of. With his products, you're supposed to be able to layer them. They describe this online as a customizable cheek palette because the powders are supposed to be able to layer and mix well. So even though the blush is matte, if you don't want a matte look, you can actually put the highlight underneath and then mix the powder matte blush on top of it, which I did in the demo because I absolutely just love that little tip that he gave. I just feel like it's such a simple tip that makes so much sense, but I never actually like thought to do that. I've put highlighter on top of my blush before as like a blush topper, but never really to put just the highlighter everywhere. And I really liked that tip and I felt like it worked very well with his formula. Sometimes you can find if you do put a highlighter all over your cheek and then put a blush on top, sometimes the highlighter is a little bit chunky and it really just still emphasizes the texture. I did find these two did blend very well to that, yeah, it looked like a shimmery blush. So I wanted to put most of the product on the high points of my cheek and then blend that down. This is probably my favorite color of the four. Now I did only pick up three and I will get to that in a minute, but do you see how seamless this looks on the cheek. 
This is really great for all of my lighter skin tone gals. I really like this color. You can't apply too much with this color, which I really like. I don't like blushes that are too pigmented. I'd rather they be buildable. And this one is that perfect buildable formula. I do wish for my skin tone that maybe it had a little bit more payoff, but somebody who is more on the fair spectrum, you're going to love Coral Rose. And it's not his entire formula in his line that I feel like I want more pigmentation with. I feel like this one is geared more for fair skin tones. So it's very hard to apply too much. Whereas the next shade up in depth, which is going to be Blush Peony, I felt like the blush had the perfect amount of pigmentation for me. Anyways, as you can see, I love this formula of highlighter. I think it's gorgeous and I really like how the two layer together. It's really, really stunning. All right, so let's get into the colors. So I picked out three, there are four. The one that I did not pick up is Vivid Azalea, which is a vibrant magenta. and a luminous white gold. I'm going to link you down below to Kelsey and Mel's videos where they did try-ons for you guys as well. Uh, they were part of Wayne's campaign, which is so exciting. But yeah, this one did not look like one that I would personally use. And also, like I said, I was hoping they would be around $35 and then being at the $45 price point. Sometimes I forget that I live on a teacher salary. <laughs> I can't be buying every single shade of every single launch that comes out. So I picked my top two shades, which were Coral Rose and Blush Peony. And then my mom, who has a medium skin tone, she wanted Bright Poppy, which is the deepest one of the ones that I ordered. So I was like, perfect. At least I can do three since my mom wanted a different shade than me. But let's go into the first two shades that we have. We'll start off with the one that I just used. So this is coral rose so the blush is described as a soft peachy pink and then a beige champagne highlight of the entire launch i would say this one is probably the most wearable for me as far as what i would grab for most often and the consistency of these products are beautiful. The highlighter especially, I feel to be especially unique. I find it to have a very opaque layer. You get a lot of payoff from that, and as you can see, it gives you coverage, which I think is interesting. A lot of highlights don't do that, but it's spreadable, so it's not quite stark on your face. You can make it very stark and thick and super blinding, but for me, I found that with a brush, it just blended out seamlessly. So with a hard finger swatch, it's just blending away to just this overall beautiful glaze all over the skin. Now, it's not the most smoothing on the skin. It is a highlight, so highlight will highlight texture, and it's not the most smoothing formula I've come across, but it also isn't emphasizing it to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, this highlighter is chunky and horrible. It's like right in the middle. It's fine. I think with the texture of this and the amount of blindness that you can get. I really like that it's a buildable formula. Blendable, most importantly. Um, as far as the blush in this shade, like I said, this one is definitely the most sheer of the ones that I ordered and I think would be the best for somebody with a fair skin tone. I also love the corally pinky kind of color as well. So for me, this is my favorite as far as every day. I think it's gorgeous and it's not intimidating. You're not going to apply too much color and the names are cute. This is blushing and this is rosy. Super cute. And by the way, as you saw in my demo on one side of my cheek, I just did the regular matte blush everywhere with the highlight as I would normally apply my cheek products. And then on this side, I laid down a wash of the highlight and then mixed it in with the powder so you could see the glowy blush effect. The next shade that I have is Blush Peony. This is the other one that I selected for myself. So this is described as a medium petal pink and a cool iridescent pink. So I really love this one. I think this one is my favorite of the three because it's the most different. Like, whereas I feel very comfortable with the colors that I have on my face right now, I love this iridescent pink highlight. And this shade is a little bit deeper. You get a little bit more opacity than the Coral Rose, but it still is not too much. It's a nice, buildable formula. It blends out beautifully. And I really like mixing these two together because this is kind of a pink iridescence so I think it mixes in with the blush a little bit better and again you'll see look at the opacity that this highlight has to me what is really wild about this is I feel like you have so much opacity that it can be intimidating but it just blends out so nicely and let me show you the blush so that you can get an idea of pigmentation what we're working with so as you can see it's not that full coverage that the highlight has it's very respectable very easy to work with so I think this one is actually quite a universal palette for a lot of different skin 
skin tones if you like the pink look. I know some people don't like pink blushes. Pink blushes are my favorite. I think it's the most fresh and youthful look. So I really do like this one and I think it's a little bit more unique because of that pink iridescent highlighter. And then finally, we'll talk about Bright Poppy. If you are my skin skin tone. I personally don't recommend this for you. This just isn't for our skin tone. So you get a bright poppy pink and then a golden copper for the highlight. So my medium skin tone to deep skin tones, I think this is going to look wonderful on you. For me, I mean, I didn't purchase this for myself for a reason. It's just not for me. The blush is much too pigmented. And I will say, this is the one blush that is not completely matte. You can kind of see a little bit of, not sparkles, but a satininess to it, whereas the other two I felt like were true matte. This one is not, but look at this, you guys. Now that blush gives you some color. So when I did my application of this, I had to use a very, very, very light hand. It gave me a very flushed look. And though I do enjoy looking like a clown, I'm a blush lover, I like looking like a clown. As far as every day, it's not something that I would grab for because I have to be so light handed with it. I like that I can be heavy handed with the other blushes. And then of course the highlight, which super creamy feel. I love the consistency of his highlights. They just feel so nice and smooth to swatch. That's insane. So clearly not for my skin tone, but looking at his range, I think he did provide an option for all skin tones, which I think is fabulous. And he managed to do that with just four shades. Now all of the shades are more in the pinky family. So I would love to see him expand into some more warm blushes, plum, terracotta. But I think for a great base beginner of four shades, he really hit the whole spectrum of skin tones. But like I said, if you don't like the pinky tones, you may not like it, but I find the blush shades to be very complementary to his lip shades. I just think that they'll pair beautifully together. Today from him I'm wearing mauve lip pencil, daisy lipstick, and then petunia lip gloss. And it just looks so nice. And this is a tip that he said in his video. This one wasn't as new to me as putting down the highlight first, but always use your blush uh, just a touch in the crease of your eyeshadow, even if you're not wearing eyeshadow, because it's going to create a really cohesive look and then everything's just going to look like they belong together. And just doing that brings the whole look together. So I love that tip. As far as longevity, when I did wear these earlier, I didn't notice the colors fading at all. That being said, I find that makeup doesn't really fade on me very much. I just, my skin isn't overly oily or anything, but the colors stay and I think he has a nice, solid formula, you guys. So final thoughts, I think the one that I would recommend most as far as every day if you're around my skin tone is Coral Rose because these are just the kind of colors that we're gonna go for. But if you're looking for something a little bit more different or if you have a medium skin tone, I do really enjoy Blush Peony. I think that one's beautiful. Medium to deep skin tone. I think Bright Poppy is going to look good on you. And I would, I did say that these didn't have the longest lifespan for a powder. I do think it has to do with the highlighter because it does feel quite creamy. Me. The one tip that I have for you guys is to be careful if you are applying the highlighter all over the cheek to mix it in with the blush. Because it is a highlight, it is going to emphasize texture. As I said earlier, I think I have dealt with some formulas that are a little bit more smooth over the skin, but it is a highlight and highlights are going to highlight texture. That is what highlighters do. As far as application and those tips, just keep that in mind. But overall, really solid release. Really like the colors that he chose to come out with. I think they're very flattering. I think they really do give you that bright youthful look on the cheek and the formulas are quite nice. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!